I love adventure. And I guess I always have. I also love Scotland. Now, I know that may not come as much of a surprise for any of you that have been following the channel for a while. I think it was Robbie Burns who summed it up well when he said, My heart is in the Highlands. My heart is not here. My heart is in the Highlands, chasing the deer. And that kind of always stuck with me. So a couple of weeks ago when I was sat at my desk down here in Devon, I suddenly got that urge, the urge to just get away for a few days. I decided I wanted to get back up to the Highlands as soon as possible. So I packed up my van and I made the 10 hour drive north to the Scottish Highlands, where I hoped to find some red deer. But it's not just the red deer that makes Scotland the incredible place that it is. It's everything. The scenery from the mountains, the forests, the rivers and waterfalls, to the abundance of wildlife, from red deer to red squirrels, dippers and otters. Scotland really does have it all, and I think for me that's what makes it the perfect place to escape to. So after a long drive and only a few hours sleep, it was time to get out back in search of the red deer. And wow was it great to be back in the Highlands. Okay, so I've just found a herd of deer up here. Um, they were all lying down initially um, and I spotted them from a distance, including a couple of the young ones. So that's pretty amazing. The only thing is I can't see any stags in with them, but um, it doesn't really matter. They've all started walking off over the top of this hill that you can kind of make out this way just behind me. So rather than kind of following them from behind, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk back to the way I came and give it quite a wide berth and go to the other side of the hill that they're walking up and hope that they walk down towards me. Um, I haven't got the wind in my favor, but I don't know, I'm just gonna take my time and see what happens, but this is still amazing to see. So that was really quite annoying. So after like a 40 minute walk to like circumnavigate around back where I came from, um, I found a couple of deer. So I found a doe and her fawn. Um, so I crouched down quickly and set the camera up on the tripod and I managed to get a couple of images, um, but it's quite breezy today. You can probably see that. And um, I think she caught my scent and she just looked up towards where I was crouching and then they both just ran off. So I managed a quick bit of footage, but, but, but nothing great. Uh, and a couple of images, which might be okay. Um, and it's definitely better than nothing, but oh, it's just so frustrating because had the wind, had I been in a different direction, she probably wouldn't have caught my scent. And um, I probably would have been able to sit here for a while. So I don't think she would have spotted me, but never mind. She's still got plenty of time. Well, this is the only footage I managed from that day. And while it's still incredible to see red deer, I was kind of hoping for more. So I decided to get in the van and head over to the Cairngorms National Park in search of other wildlife. Well, after eight days of exploring the Scottish Highlands, it was almost time for me to head home. But before I left, I wanted one more opportunity to try and find those red deer. So I decided to head back to the same location as the first day and only this time I had a little bit more success. Hi guys. So since I last did a piece to camera, um, it's been about a week. It's actually been eight days. And I kind of had given up on the video altogether, to be perfectly honest. I really struggled. As I mentioned, I found the herd um, and they all spooked and disappeared. And then I didn't want to kind of follow them directly. 
So I went round wide again, trying to get ahead of them and they just completely disappeared. Um, it was really, really quite challenging. And because I had another eight days up here in Scotland, albeit I was going over to the Cairngorms and then onto the Isle of Skye, um, where I did actually see some deer, but I didn't take any of my video equipment or uh, I didn't take my big lens either. But what I've decided to do, because I'm driving back down to Devon this evening and um, I was kind of passing this area anyway, I thought it'd be cool to head back um, to the same spot and see if we can catch up with the herd again. I don't know if we're gonna get anywhere. I don't even know if this video will make it out onto YouTube, but um, I thought I'd give it a go. So I've got about two hours left before sunset and the conditions are pretty cool. It's quite, um, I wouldn't say it's stormy, but there's a lot of like gray thick clouds rolling in over the hills behind me. So it could make for some quite nice images, but I guess that all depends on whether we find a deer or not. Um, I'm gonna give it till sunset anyway. So I've got two hours to try and find these deer to get some images and to hopefully, <coughs> excuse me, and to hopefully find some images for you. This is awesome. So I've already found a stag, um, albeit a young one, but it doesn't matter. He's probably only about 100, 150 meters away from me. Um, and he's just lying down. Doesn't seem bothered at all. And I'm at that point at the moment where I'm not sure whether to push my luck and try and get a little bit closer, um, or whether just to wait to see what he does. I think I'm gonna wait a little bit. We've still got plenty of time with regards to the light. Um, and the last thing I want to do is like stress him out or make him move on. But this is so cool that, um, well, yeah, that I found one, because as I said before, I wasn't sure if this video was gonna go anywhere. So uh, really, really nice to see as well on the last day of my holiday. I'm gonna get some images. I'll talk to you in a minute. So that was so, so cool. I um, managed to get pretty close to that, in fact, to the point where it was like filling the frame to that um, stack. And I was just sat there because it's just lying down initially, not really doing much, but seemed chilled, but aware that I was there. Um, so I didn't really want to push it. So I was kind of just waiting. Um, and then he got up, started having a bit of a feed. And that was really cool. And then he started moving off. And just as I was about to move with him, to try and kind of get a different composition. Um, another stag just popped up from behind him. So I managed to get a couple of images of him too. And then they just started wandering off kind of like somewhere behind me. Um, and I can't find them. I've kind of walked down, that was about 10 minutes ago, and I've walked down looking for them. Um, 
I don't know what I've got. It's actually amazing how these guys blend in so well to their habitat and can just disappear. They have the ability to just disappear like that. But obviously, it makes it a little bit harder to find them. But I think it's getting pretty dark now. Um, I think I'm going to give it another 10 minutes. And as I've got to drive all the way back down to Devon, probably going to call it a day. Yeah, let's give it 10 more minutes. I'll just wander up. I think I'm going to wander up to this mound just behind me, just like basically where the camera's pointing, because that's the direction that they moved in. Um, see if I can find them again. And if not, probably time to head home. Well, that's me done. I um, went over to the mound where I said, um, and I wasn't really expecting to find them again, to be honest. If these guys don't want to be found, they won't be. And um, yeah, time for me to call it a day. I'm so stoked that I decided to stop here, to be honest. It was kind of, I wouldn't say an afterthought, but it was only as I was approaching this area where I thought maybe I should just stop and have another look. And it just goes to show that, you know, sometimes it is worth it. Um, I've got to drive back to Devon now. So <laughs> it's got a pretty long drive. So it's time for me to call it a day, get back to the van and um, start driving. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, might be a bit of a short one. I'm not sure yet until I get back and edit it. They didn't really do that that much, but um, I hope you enjoyed the footage anyway. If you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up and I'll see you all on the next one. Midges, they absolutely love me. But um, it's a pretty, pretty one-sided love affair here. Right, so I'll see you all on the next video.